All right, we got it for you. Our fearless leaders back in the booth. Here it is, Strawberry Letter. What's going on, Rebel family? Today's video, you got our pregnant too. I'm so tired of being a fool. The Strawberry Letter, let's jump right into it here. Let's get to it. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. The one and only Strawberry Letter. Subject, I'm tired of being a big fool. Dear Stephen Shirley, I've been a fool long enough. I'm a 28-year-old young woman that has bitten off more than I can chew. At age 18, I got married to a guy that I knew wasn't gonna work out. I went through the relationship for seven long, ugly, abusive years. I decided to get out of the relationship three years ago. Sadly, my way of getting out of the relationship was to turn to another man. Big, big mistake. The person I decided to be with was someone that I have known all my life. We grew up together as close family, but we are not related. We dated for about a year and a half, and I found out I was pregnant. He was so excited to know that he was about to have a child. About seven months into the pregnancy, I discovered he had another woman pregnant and that they had been in a relationship for eight years. I never knew of this young lady. Since all this crap hit the fan, I decided to have the baby and move away. I even moved out of state because it was just too embarrassing. Embarrassing to me to have to swallow this pill, uh, this pill dealing with this dog person. Even though I moved away to stop talking to him, he always manages to end up back in my life. Yes, I know he's still with this other person, although he lies and says he's not. He is here in my state at least four times a month, and he sends for me at least twice a month. This man has a 10-year age gap on me and the other girl. He's using both of us, but the only ones that don't get along are me and her. It's like we take turns with him. It's sick and embarrassing. I know I can't keep being a fool. I deserve so much more, but I just don't have a clue where to start. I am too embarrassed to talk to my dad about this. He would never imagine I was living a life like this. It's okay to be a fool, but I'm tired of being a big fool. Okay, and stuff like this, it's never okay to be a fool. It, it really isn't big or otherwise. And, and now that you know what's going on with him, you no longer have to be a fool. You moved away. Uh, putting some distance between you two, that was your start right there. But then you allowed him back in your life, and uh, now you're just one of the women that he's playing. Uh, is he even a good father in your life? You don't even mention that. Um, you know, you say you deserve so much more, but you don't have a clue where to start. Well, you start by stopping. Stop allowing him to, to come there and see you and all of that. Stop going to see him when he sends for you. You gotta put a stop to this. Get some child support for your baby and set up some visitation if he wants to be involved in the child's life. You have, a, you have to learn from your past mistakes so you can move on. Okay, so I'm, I let it play in, so it fully in context so you can hear the whole thing in context. And I'm gonna play Steve's answer, but I'm gonna go through the first portion and Shirley's answer because she said some wild things in this particular uh, strawberry letter that just are egregious and Steve even takes the cake and, and, this, and this is why I said I was doing these because the advice that they give is so bad if uh, for men who are um, you know writing into these guys it is just so bad but just in general these are just good uh, lessons that can be learned from these things here. Let's let's start it again here. Let's get to it. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. The one and only Strawberry Letter. Subject, I'm tired of being a big fool. Dear Stephen Shirley, I've been a fool long enough. I'm a 28-year-old young woman that has bitten off more than I can chew. At age 18, I got married to a guy that I knew wasn't going to work out. I went through the relationship for seven long, ugly, abusive years. I decided to get out of the relationship three years ago. Sadly, my way of getting out of the relationship was to turn to another man. Okay, let me stop it right there. So, the, the, the chick says she got into a marriage. She married a dude at 18 that she knew that the marriage wasn't going to work out and it lasted seven long abusive years right she made sure she threw that abusive stuff in there to get some sympathy for what she knew was going to going to come next that oh i basically cheated on that man so i, I married a dude that I, I i knew it wasn't gonna work out at 18 but you weren't you were an adult yeah you're still young and, and it's you know most 18 year olds aren't um 
don't have the maturity to make certain decisions but nonetheless she was an adult and she made that decision you know legally right she made that decision so um you, you got what to do you made sure to say oh it was abusive so now i'm justified in what i did by you know getting with another dude and uh, you know you left him you, you oh, she said she was in the marriage for seven years but left it three years ago so did you have time to heal did you have time to go to counseling since it was so abusive now you got into another relationship and let's keep going here big big mistake the person I decided to be with was someone that I have known all my life. We grew up together as close family, but we are not related. We dated for about a year and a half, and I found out I was pregnant. He was so excited to know that he was about to have a child. About seven months into the pregnancy, I discovered he had another woman pregnant and that they had been in a relationship for eight years. Okay, all right, so she apparently didn't do her homework to get pregnant by a dude that's been in a relationship with someone else for eight years so now this this dude has two women pregnant at the same time doesn't sound like the best choice in men um so she's you know she's choosing badly who to deal with and um you know so there's all kinds of okay give me sympathy that's going to come up here next i never knew of this young lady since all this crap hit the fan I decided to have the baby and move away. I run, even moved. Run, running away from your mistakes, okay. Gonna run away from the dad, all right. Out of state because it was just too embarrassing. Embarrassing to me to have to swallow this pill, uh, this pill dealing with this dog person. Even though I moved away to stop talking to him, he always manages to end up back in my life. Well, you decided to keep the baby. So what do you think? I mean, that's going to tie you to someone pretty much until the child turns legal age that they don't have to deal with you. So you're going to have some ties with someone. I mean, oops, you, you didn't think that you were going to have some lifelong ties with a person that you chose to have a, a, a baby with. And this chick is not smart whatsoever, right? To think he always winds up back in my life. Well, you got a baby with him. What do you, I mean, what do you think? Yes, I know he's still with this other person, although he lies and says he's not. I, I don't know why he's lying, but the dude obviously, you know, is, sounds, he sounds like he, he's a low level, low level dude, low level thinking dude. I mean, I mean, why would you have to lie? She's accepted it. You, you're not with either one of them. You're not married. So why would you have to lie? Just tell the truth. They, they both know you got babies with them. So at this point, What's the, what's the point of lying? He is here in my state at least four times a month, and he sends for me at least twice a month. This man has a 10-year age gap on me and the other girl. He's using both of us, but the only ones that don't get along are me and her. Okay, so that 10-year thing, she threw that 10-year, he's older than us, so oh, he's taking advantage. Sweetheart, you're, you're 28. The other girl is 28, if my math is correct, right? He's 10 years older than me and the other girl. That means both of you guys are 28. Far from being, you know, young young girls or young women or whatever, you're 28. So you, you've been around the block. It isn't like you should be out here screaming, I'm still naive at 28. So that would make him 38, but you're not a young, you're not a young naive person here. It's like we take turns with him. It's yeah. sick. And uh, absolutely you do because you both had babies with him. What do you think? And you you didn't you didn't have any self-respect for yourself by having a baby with somebody that had another chick pregnant. I mean, what do you expect, lady? And embarrassing. I know I can't keep being a fool. I deserve so much You've more, been a fool, but so I just don't have continue. a clue where to start. I am too embarrassed to talk to my dad about this. He would never. Okay, so this woman has a dad in her life, and she didn't use her dad to vet any of these men. This is this this is the silliness out here. So you're so embarrassed. Your dad knows what's going on. I mean, he knows you have a baby. The baby didn't show up by the stork. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The stork didn't bring the baby. You know and. You know, he, he he knows something. You ain't if you ain't bringing a dude around or something, something's going on. That ain't stupid. I mean, come on, lady, goodness.
imagine I was living a life like this. It's okay to be a fool, but I'm tired of being a big fool. Okay, and stuff like this, it's never okay to be a fool. It, it really isn't big or otherwise. And, and now that you know what's going on with him, you no longer have to be a fool. You moved away, uh, putting some distance between you two. That was your start, right? This is Shirley's answer here. She stopped reading the letter. There, but then you allowed him back in your life. And uh, now you're just one of the women that he's playing. See, he's playing. Why is he playing her? I mean, she knows what it is at this point. How, how can someone be played when you know what it is? When you know he had a baby with another woman, how is it that you're still being played when you know he's going to see that woman, to see his child? He's coming to see you. He's, he's, you're not being played. She's, this woman is not being played. I mean, and, and Shirley's always going to, well, she doesn't always. She, most of the time, she capes for the woman and, and, and tries to help the woman play victim. But let's stop it. Uh, is he even a good father in your life? You don't even mention that. Um, y you know, you say you deserve so much more, but you... Yeah, and that was the thing. I meant to comment on that. She says she deserves. Nobody deserves anything. You know, you get what the, the kind of work that you put in. And honestly, it's karma. You know, it's, it's karma at this point. You know, if you cheated on a dude with another dude and this dude is not about anything and now your 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 woe is me no you cheated on that, that on your husband with another dude that's how you said you got out of the marriage it just seems like it's karma coming back here don't have a clue where to start well you start by stopping stop allowing him to to come there and see you and all of that stop going to see him when he sends for you, you got See, Shirley's saying that because she, she lucked around at 60 and found a simp to marry her at 60. That, um, so she can, so she can, now she can say that. But lady, it's, it's hard out here for a chick. I mean, because any dude that comes into her life and understands what happened is like, wait a minute, you got pregnant by a dude that had another woman pregnant at the same time and you cheated on your husband? That's, they're just looking at her for it. It's, hey, look, it's just fun time. You know what I mean? It's, who would take, who would take a woman doing that kind of silliness ser serious? And she's 28, so she can't keep using, I was young, I was young, I was young. You can't you keep using that excuse. Got to put a stop to this. Get some child support for your baby. Okay, and notice she said, get some child support. I, I, I hit the floor when I heard that. Get some child support. I was, I was cringing like, oh, these damn women, get some child support. Oh my God, I mean, now, yes, obviously the dude has to take care of his child or children because since he has two, which was dumb on his part, but this get some child support, that sound, the way she said it, it, it came off as, okay, be vindictive because he's playing you, so get some child support from the dude, you know, him spending time with the child was an afterthought. Set up some visitation See, if visitation he wants to be involved in the child's life. You have a if he wants to be in the child's life, right? Not oh, get some child support if he wants to pay child support. She didn't say that. No, get some child support and then set up visitation if he wants to be in the child's you life. You have Come to on. learn from your past mistakes so you can move on. Yeah. Now let me go ahead and play Steve's part. Steve's part was even worse than than <laughs> Shirley's. I mean, Steve is a piece of work. Steve. Stop holding you down. Forgive yourself and then treat yourself. See, a lot of people, man, see, God is in the forgiving business. But what people do is even when God forgives you, you hold it against yourself. Steve. Stop holding you down. Forgive yourself and then treat yourself. See, a lot of people, man, see, God is in the forgiving business. But what people do is even when God forgives you, you hold it against yourself. You keep making yourself, I can't believe I did that. You did it. It's done. It's over. Let's go. If God let you up, why do you keep laying there? God forgives you for everything you've ever done. You don't have to lay there and wallow in it. See, stop holding you down. Stop Man, I can't believe I, I can't believe I did a whole bunch of stuff in my life, but I did it. But God forgave me. Get up and move on. Can't nobody hold you down like that. And you don't have to allow anybody to hold I'm you to a mistake the sermon you play. made. Is he saying no? Once you make the mistake and you've moved out of state, forgive yourself and then treat yourself. See, treat you know how you start yourself. over? This is how you start over. 
Get off the trail. Get off the wheel. Get off. Just get off the merry-go-round. Whatever you want. Get off that sliding board. Get off that hamster wheel. And stand still and reset yourself. Just start over. I got this baby now. I'm a mother. And I'm going to start from here. He can no longer come here and he can no longer sin for me. I'm stopping. I'm getting off the treadmill. It, why are you in a relationship? It's like y'all take turns with him. He can't get no more turns with me. Mm. You stop. Stop doing you. You doing yourself. You don't have to be a fool. All you got to do is forgive yourself and stop holding you down. Get off the treadmill. Get off that hamster wheel and stand still. Reset yourself and start over. God allows us all to start over. He does not keep whipping us for the same thing. The only reason you keep, the only way you keep getting whipped for the same thing is if you keep doing the same thing. God is in the forgiving beast. Why don't you take his hand? Okay, that's deep sympathy. I mean, do I even have to comment on that foolishness? I mean, I, I shouldn't even have, there's no reason that I even have to comment on that foolishness, right? It's just too silly to even to even bring up and, and comment on on what Steve was saying there. Um, but what he didn't do is talk about the husband who was cheated on. You know, in some states, the, 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 the father of a child, you know, if you're married to a woman, even if it's by, even if the uh, baby is not biologically yours, if the child is not yours biologically, you could be ordered to pay child support, which is a crock in itself, right? Steve says nothing about that thing, you know, that he's the one that's really the aggrieved party because if she was still married at the time that she cheated on him with the other dude, then that means he could he could potentially be on the hook for child support for that dude and then you know uh Shirley talking about go get some child support it's just you know it's just all it's just all foul right for especially for that guy the other two I mean the other ones the other three locked in the um the love triangle so to speak hey that's on them they you know chick is deciding to have a baby with a dude that had another chick pregnant that's on you right dude has two babies by two chicks that he didn't get married to you know the courts aren't fair and you and and you know this you know you may get hit with child support you you may have to you know pony up on both of those kids all right it's not a good look but you know i i just don't like the fact that you know nothing was said in in, in toward, towards a man's behalf who was cheated on right it's just forgive yourself forgive yourself forgive yourself move on now that is true but to go on and on about it like no you know that chick has to own up to those mistakes that she made she can't just move on and forget about it and it's all good and he's the bad guy and so forth and so on no she has to own up to those mistakes you know and we could talk all day about how women are women are whatever 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 we have to manage our own actions and affairs so when things are we know the system is working against us then we have to take precaution and protect ourselves at all times brothers because there's no one coming to save you there's there's no help out there for you no one's coming to save you even someone like steve harvey is going to advocate for women in a situation like this to where there was really one aggrieved party and that was the that was the ex-husband he was really the aggrieved party right you know this chick talking about this dude is playing us no you're playing yourself so those are my final thoughts peace rumble family